Okay, so now we want to create health meters. We want to create uh, the logic. So when our player touches the fire or your spikes or whatever you have there that you want to take the negative health, we can go ahead and do that. So I'm going to click on the sprite. Then I'm going to click edit. And then behaviors. So once again, I'm going to go ahead and double click on the run and jump to open up all my behaviors that I have set up. And now we need to create a number. We're going to add a number. So if you go to the logic and math, and then click number, have that here. So I'm going to go ahead and see if I can move these up. See these. Uh, actually, you know what? I'll just do this. Here we go. Now I'm going to put the number here. And I want to go ahead and set this. Click on that, and I'm going to label this health. We're going to set the value for 3 so that our character can take three, 3 damage. If you want to make it higher, you can. I'm just doing 3 because that's you know, a, a typical number for the, uh, the old um, two-dimensional games. Next, we need to think about it logically. We need to have our character talk to this sprite. And we do that by clicking on the triggers. So click up, up in your upper left hand corner on triggers. And we want to use the collision option. Collision, so when they walk in or when a character walks into that uh, that that sprite. All right, move collision first. So I click the collision and I want to click any object down to or type, sorry. I want to click to my, I renamed mine fire. So if you named your spikes or whatever you renamed your sprite, that's what you're going to click. So I'm going to click fire. I'm going to leave this option any object so that anytime it touches any of these fire objects that I have throughout my board, the character will lose one. But we also have to make that, uh, it, doesn't, it doesn't just lose one on its own, we'll have to do that as well. Hit OK. We do that by adding another number box. So I go to Logic and Math and click another number box. I'm going to move that over, move that in between. So for this one, I'm going to click on it and I'm going to go ahead and label this one Health, which means every time the collision happens, it's going to lose, hit the minus button. It's going to lose one. So you go to the logic and math numbers, rename it health, and do minus one. Hit OK. We just need to link them up. So that means whenever this hits, whenever our character hits the fire, the negative one health will go into the number. So every time this gets hit, the fire gets hit, minus one will go in the three box, which means it'll go from three to two, two to one, one to zero. Let's quickly test this to make sure that it's working as expected. Oh, can't see it. Let me go back to edit game. All right, sorry about that. Hit edit. Behaviors. All right, now I'm going to hit the play button. Still need to see it. Sorry about that. All right, now I'll be able to see. See how the health number here is two? Is two. Now every time I, yep, now minus one, minus zero. So sorry about that. You had to stay in this so that you can see that it's working. See, but if I keep doing it, See how it keeps going minus four? I actually want the game to restart when it goes to zero, but we'll take care of that. I'm going to go ahead and hit the... Sorry, my buttons here are in the way because of my recording device. So I'm going to go ahead and hit OK and go back into it. Into those behaviors and back to where I just was. 
Okay, so now we have the logic. Now we need to have an identifier so that the player can see the word health and the number three on the on the uh, on the playing board. So click GUI in your left hand corner. And now we're going to do a label. So this first label is going to be the number three. So go ahead and click on that. And where it says label, click three. And I want my font color to be in contrast to the blue. So I'm going to go ahead and just choose a dark blue. That should show up really well. And I can go ahead and click the different style that I want. And you can change the size. Each of the size is pretty good. And I can hit OK. And it'll be, I believe, yeah, you can see it right here. So I'm going to want to go ahead and click to make this reading. Go ahead and click this into the output here. Go ahead and click the out button to the word value. And now that's going to read that the health has a value of three. Go ahead and click on label again under that GUI. And this is going to let them know that the number three means health. So I'll go ahead and click on that. Type in the word health. And I forgot what I use for my other font. go ahead and click on the color the same blue that I used and then click OK I don't need to attach attach the health to anything because I just need that to just show the user that hey by the way this three going down is your health meter so I need to go to hit OK because I need to go into my screen here and move these around so I'm just back in to the screen I'm moving those around and that way it'll show that's good enough and normally again I'd want to go back maybe make that a little darker but for today's purposes I'm just gonna go ahead and leave it the way it is alright just a couple more things we need to restart the game whenever the health gets to zero so I'm gonna click back on our character click edit click the behaviors Double clicked our run and jump. So now we have our behaviors here. All right. Move that out of the way. So now I need to go to, let's see here. We'll need a filter from logic and math. And go ahead and uh, so arrange this to the health. So out to in. And we want to go ahead and click on the filter and we want to make it less than one because whenever our health is less than one we want it to start over so we want to go ahead and start over by clicking on the game flow game flow and they have a restart the game click pass to go so now whenever our health reaches zero less than one it should restart the game. Go ahead and check this out. Alright, it's working. You see our health goes down to two. One, zero. Hey, it actually worked. Alright. So, we're good to go for restarting the game. Making our health go down. But I still need a purpose other than just uh, um, avoiding my spikes and flames. So now I'm going to go ahead and add something that can accumulate points. And again, I'm just giving you the bare minimum. I mean, this is like 5%, 1% of what this, what this can do. I'm going to leave resources for if you want to take it that next step. Um, I'm going to be learning along with you. So let's go ahead and add the last part. I'm going to go ahead and click back to the behavior section. Okay. All right. So next, I want to go back to the uh, the main page here, and I want to add some an object that my character can go into. So I'm just going to go ahead and click 
uh, stars on the other one I had the diamonds for doggy diamonds so this time I'm just gonna go ahead and click on the sprite click new sprite browse select category and go ahead and go to objects and you can do bones or whatever you want I'm just gonna go ahead and find the the uh, their star hearts hearts is fine go ahead and click the heart and again you can change the colors around so I'm just gonna click the heart so I have that here and you can click clone right and put them wherever you want around around your um, uh, um, your board okay but I need to go ahead and click edit and I need to go ahead and give it a different behavior nope not behavior I'm sorry Edit sprite. Oh, physics. There it is. Sorry. So not behaviors, um, but click on physics, and I want to make it not movable. That way, um, you won't you won't be bouncing off of it. Also, click uh, enable collisions. That way, it can go through it, and then you'll be able to collect them. So I think the others will be should do the same thing. So uh, I'm just going to go ahead and double check here. Make sure that the physics is okay. If it, if you set it for one, it'll set it for all. If you've if you've cloned it, so that's cool that it remembers it, and you don't have to go back and and do it all if you've changed one thing. Okay, now I want to make my heart disappear. I click on the heart. I click edit. Now I need the heart to do something. So I have the click on behaviors and now I'm going to click on triggers go back to the collision one so triggers collision and now that I have the collision there I need to know that whenever it, uh, this object this type let's see whenever my cat so you want to click your character whenever my cat hits it something will happen to it okay next I want to find the destroyer box let's see here triggers destroyer here we go underneath components now destroyer so every time the cat collides with this heart it'll destroy it so let's see if that works Yay! All right, so that's working. So now I'm going to go back to. Oh, looks like I'm running out of time for this video. I can only make these videos 15 minutes long each, so I I will have to make one more short video. So let me go ahead and save this one and then go to part four.